lots of stuff arrived lots of oh shit i should stop talking hey guys welcome back to another video i have the Banff 2 spectrum ix20 we're going to do a little bit of flying so actually if you watched our previous deviant video we're filming this right after that so as i mentioned in that video you know it's been raining and cooling down for the last couple days and then you know the sun cleared a little bit so i thought i would come down and do some flying in the other video i mentioned the weather is actually a little harder to fly than i expected uh, the clouds up there they're moving really fast um, it is quite windy up there right now at this moment it's calmed down a little bit but it's going to pick up again very soon let's see if we can hit anything this is my Banff 2 strong lip oh got some energy there this is a rudderless model cruise. it's going to cruise there was a little bit of energy there but i think there's going to be something better over here because my streamer is pulling quite hard in this direction looks like that's not bad nope i think it was better over on the right hand side let's see if we can get back to it the air hasn't been blowing very hard uh, in the last minute, so I think it should still be in this area. But no, it's sinking very fast. It should be right around here. Wow. That's no good. Let's come back. Let's try again. There was a little bit of lift on the on the right hand side on the earlier part of the Ooh, actually, let's see if we can hit this. Oh dear, come on. No. I think I need to click over down. Yeah, it's getting a little bit choppy again. I think there's a nice thermal that just blew through. So let's see if we can hit it. Oops, pushed over a little bit too late. Darn. All right. The wings are rocking a lot. It's just getting... look. Look at that in the video. I think you guys can probably hold see in the one. video. Huh, I just got a hold. hold one. I just got a hold. hold one. All right. It keeps saying hold one is because I have a repeating alarm. It's not uh, continuing to get lots of holds. Okay, so it's hold one. Hold I have one, one hold. Yep, decent lift. There's a little bit of lift there. Whoa, whoa. It is very turbulent. And it can get very turbulent in the city once it starts blowing. Let's see if I can hit some actual strong lift. Because there's a lot of sink. There's a lot of turbulence. There's a lot of sink. Um, from flying the deviant it seems like there is one or two you know very strong thermals passing through and then there's going to be a lot of sink all around it uh, so the key is finding that little lift and whatever lift you do find it's going to be very strong but you got to fight to keep in the thermal so right now I'm not in lift you can see the glide ratio is very bad I'm just falling out of the sky um, unless we can hit something very strong right now and try to climb back up otherwise I'm probably gonna come in yeah let's come in whoa Whew. that's not what you should do <laughs> that was very bad okay so the wind seems to be pulling in this direction most of the time that's the prevailing right now it's coming over to this side a little bit more. 
all those trees are moving quite a bit those trees are a little bit too far to be concerned for me right now those trees are pulling quite hard as well it's shifting back to the right a little bit I have a feeling it's gonna be right over here even though I don't see any still trees but let's see if let's see if we can hit that Wow, completely shifted, completely shifted. It is pulling very strongly to the left right now. Way beyond the prevailing wind. So let's see if we can hit something over here. It's not much energy yet. You can kind of feel, you can see how the plane maybe feels a little bit mushy. That's how it's been uh, so far. I've been flying a few quite a few flights already today and it's not feeling very good so it's one of those days where you really have to fight to get that thermal and if you don't get that thermal you're going to be on the ground very very quickly so that's just one minute past oh there's some energy there can I capitalize on it? No, I didn't enter that turn correctly. So with rudderless, you really do need to turn, lead into the turn much, um, how should I say it? With rudder, if you don't enter the turn properly, you can kind of use your rudder to force yourself back into it nicely. Whereas uh, with rudderless, you do have to enter the turn much nicer with it. You have to be more prepared to, when you're entering the turn, let's put it that way. And I find that I have been screwing myself up a little bit recently and I haven't found this in the past because in the past I mostly flew 3K only. So even though I was using rudderless models, they were all rudder, all my models were rudderless, so it was easy to fly. Uh, but recently, because I've been flying more um, the Fury, F, which is a electric DLG or F5K model and I use a lot of rudder for that model and switching back to DLGs I do miss the rudder sometimes it, because it's so different the way that the two planes fly is so different um, I do see that sometimes it couldn't be an issue whoa I'm pushing over late I think I've been pushing over late for quite a few flights today. All right, let's go back into this vicinity. I feel something right over here. We're basically going back to the same thermal we were kind of rising in right at the end of the last flight, uh, but we're entering it at a much higher position. I'm in cruise right now. I switch over to thermal briefly, uh, but it was kicking me around quite a bit. I went to cruise, now I'm back to thermal, uh, back to cruise. That's one minute, two more minutes in this flight. Let's try to hit a three minute flight. All right. Air looks decent over here. I don't want to speak too soon, but it seems like the lift has uh, matured a little bit and the sink between the lift hasn't, isn't quite as bad as earlier. But watch, the second I say that, the lift is going to fall apart and I'm <laughs> going to sink. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I went back into thermal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thermal. It's fighting me. The thermal is definitely fighting you today. It's not a free gift. You have to work hard to stay back in the core. It's always wanting to push me out of it. It's quite strong. So one more minute in this flight. It's very strong. I'm going to try to widen it up a little bit. 
And curiously, the streamer is completely pulling to the left. You know what? Let's. Wow, that's really strong. I'm back in cruise. I'm going to pull to the left. Wow, that is really strong lift now. That's just. Yeah, that's just crazy lift. I don't want to get too high. Let's come back down. As you probably notice in the videos, especially the video, all the videos I've been posting so far have been flying inside the city. I am quite risk adverse. So it's a little bit, a little, a little bit different than flying at a wide open field, especially at a contest where I try to take a lot more uh, risk. Sometimes it's rewarding, sometimes it screws me over. Um, oh, that's three minutes. Let's come back in. Lift is really good right now. Let's come back in. Last flight. Let's see if we can uh, hook back up into the same thermals. So the thermals are really high now, so I'm not sure what it'll be like near the near the bottom. Yeah, it's very turbulent. I'm not gonna try catching it. All right. Not a very good launch. Horrible pushover. Let's see if we can get some lift. So, in, because of the wind, I actually over rotated and it flipped backward as I was uh, during the zoom phase. In a situation like this, you usually would just roll over at the top instead of pushing over. Um, and I pushed over instead of rolling over. So, definitely the wrong way to, to exit zoom. In, in this case. It seems like in these videos I'm showing more of what not to do than what to do. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not trying to do that. It's just that I make a lot of mistakes when I fly. Yep, so air, air is right there. Back into thermal mode. That's one minute into this flight. Ah, I don't want to go too far. I'm going to go into speed. So I'm in speed mode right now. I don't get a chance to use speed mode very much in this field. Um, because it's not a very big field, but with today's wind, I really do need to use speed mode to penetrate back. Wow, it's blowing even harder now. This plane is about 250 something grams, 250 something. Whoa, I'm in cruise. Hit a big bit of lift over there. The plane is just getting tossed around. I wish I had about 50, 60 grams of ballast in here right now. Obviously I don't. Um, I'm flying empty, but ballast would really help in today's conditions for the BAMF2 as well as for the Deviant. With rudderless, it is a little bit more tricky because when it's turbulent, you don't always get to enter the turn in the exact correct angle and bank and everything and attitude and everything. And you don't have that rudder to help you push that nose back over. Um, but we manage. Eight, seven, six, last couple seconds of the three minute flight. I'm gonna come on in and call it a day. We gotta get back to the office, get some more products onto the website. Lots of stuff just arrived. Batteries have arrived, nose cones have arrived, lots of stuff arrived, lots of, ooh, shit. I should stop talking. But lots of stuff have arrived. Let's just take a quick look, make sure everything's okay. Wing is okay. Everything's okay so far. Yeah, everything seems okay. Luckily, that was not a very hard hit. So basically, it was just coming back in. There was wind. It let off for a second. As I said, it is very turbulent. 
and it just you know dropped out of the sky for a sec but everything's good and i'll see you in the next video thanks for joining in